channel. Hello, hello you. Hello you. Hello one year old. Oh, you've got a little fluff on your nose. Oh, I know okay. we had Amber's birthday a couple of days ago. I'm sure you would have seen that on um, Wednesday's vlog. B day decks are still up. B day decks are up, and also. We've kept the arrangement, guys. Okay? We have. You guys probably think we're mad. You're like, oh my god, you change your house around so much. We, we do. do. <laughs> we do. It's no really doubt, all very temporary. But we like a change. Yeah, so we've got like the little play area where the sofa used to be at the moment. All temporary, as we say. Then we've got a sofa like we used to have it. Which I love the sofa here. <laughs> especially when the weather gets a bit better. What is that? Are you Missy Moo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just loves to be a centre of attention on the vlog, guys. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got a little play area there, that, and then the dining table is in here, which actually works really nice as like a little weaning, arts and crafts area, all of that jazz. So we're just trying out every single possible solution of the house. Uh, it's um, kind of two things. One, we just can't be bothered to change it back. For now, yeah. Um, and two, we're kind of vibing it. And we, we are. are. We're kind of playing here with us in the kitchen and stuff. Look who made you that. A little homemade card, look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? When are you making little homemade cards? Oh, I can't wait for the arts and crafts, guys. Oh, um, she's going to take over. Amma's homemade you know, cards from the age of like 18 months. Yeah. Be amazing. Yeah. Because they're just going to be counting. No, honestly, I won't. I won't, I promise. <laughs> right then, girly twirly. Are we going out with you? We're going on a dog walk. Wait, you know where we're going. You know where we're going. Come on then. Oh, my goodness. She's like, is it, is it true? Yeah, come on. She doesn't believe us because we say that we're going and then it takes us like 18 hours to pack for a dog walk with a baby. But uh, we are actually going now, Mila. Let's go. I got my bum bag on. It's really happening. We're just getting in the car to go on the dog walk. I just have to show you guys all the tiles have arrived for the patio. I'll try and give you a sneak peek of them later. Oh, look. There's a little sneak peek through there, actually. You can kind of see the limestone tiles for the back garden. We're so excited. That should be starting tomorrow. Woo! I forgot my blooming coat. Look yeah, at me. Yeah, that was actually my bad. I said, oh, don't your coat cows? And she said yes, and then I proceeded to not put it in the car. So I do apologise for that. James never wears a coat and he never gets cold. And I'm like a cold person. Like even on the She's sunniest... Even on the sunniest day, I'm like, I need my coat. Like, I just hate being cold. So I've just put on like James's hoodie underneath here and mine on top and I'm still cold, but it's fine. And also my eczema, my eye. I wanted to say earlier that my eye eczema had flared up again. And then I was gonna say again that I was on my period. And then I remember last time I said that on the vlog, last time I was talking about my eye eczema, I was on my period as well, so I thought, Maybe it's my period that's flaring up. Maybe it's like the hormones. Sorry, I look so ridiculous in this like little. You've got a double hoodie. Maybe it's my period. <laughs> you don't look um, ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what it is, but the eye flare ups back. We're going no makeup. This look for the rest of the vlog. Aren't you glad you're here, guys? I'm glad I'm here. Good. I'm always glad I'm with you. Oh. I love you wow. so much. That is so... Oh. I just flowed out like a poem. That's me done for the week. <laughs> Happy day. Words of affirmation. Tick. That's my <laughs> language of love. Tick, tick, tick. Okay, oh, no. Dad's got Amber on his back, so it's memory ball kick time. Splitting off. Oh, she's broken it. Oh, no. Oh, is this going to work? I've just got to call the dog, Amber. You've broken the ball. Betty. Right. This is going to go less far than normal. Oh. Whoa, we've got height, but we haven't Help. really got distance. Oh, that's not bad. It's the projectory, Karis, okay? Yeah. You need to get, you need to put Leave. the force going forwards rather than right. up. Right, okay. Just a bit of science for you there, okay? You want the force How do I on the do diagonal. That, though? So the location that it hits your foot. Right. So of, of, You just need to hit it in a better place. Top of my foot. <laughs> You need to cut your foot toes. going forward. Often a little jig forward helps. on Ready, a <laughs> jig, jig, jig. Oh, uh, see, that's that's a slightly slightly better trajectory. Slightly. Although I'm, um, oh, see, I've clearly got again. a tactic, okay, and it's not a good one. I'm turning into my mum. No, I. I'm doing the whole Amber, Mila, carrot, Mum. Oh, oh no, that's such an adult coming. thing to do. I know. My dad does it as well. He goes through it with my whole four siblings until he gets to me. <laughs> You're always but at the also, end. you d you don't have always to feel bad because he does it for every single sibling. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's just does me. Does he do it in order of favoritism? <laughs> no, Norman, it's just well, random. Ella, Karen. No, well, Ella, Karen, oh. Sean. Um, so your mum's at the back. Yeah. <laughs> no, it just flips every time. 
just it's all whoever. random. Yeah, the dog just comes in sometimes to it yeah. as well. Oh, my mum's always <laughs> chucking the dog in there and the cats as well. So we're all sorts. Well, yeah, you're clearly doing that now with me. I know, there. I know. <laughs> she loves it in there. Just I know. Around. She's so chill. She's like, I'm so tall, guys. I'm the tallest person in the world. And then, you know, someone over six foot walks past. She's like, oh. <laughs> Hello, people. Hello, people. We're back from our dog walk. Yes, Amber is soaking wet. She just dipped her hand in the dog water bowl. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Uh, cheeky, cheeky. Uh, it's her favourite thing to do. <laughs> and I am going to go and change her. I just need a second. I literally just changed her into the cutest little outfit. And you can see she's dipped both her hands in the dog bowl. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. So, back from the dog walk. Gonna make a cup of tea. Oh. Just chill for five. Oh, that sounds Cup of tea. Deal. I love a cup of tea. Cup of tea, love. Oh, cup of tea, lovely. Cup of tea, lovely. Would you like a cup of? Oh, I wish I had an accent like that. It's such a friendly little accent. Yorkshire. Oh, no, how can you describe a accent as little? Friendly little. But that's like a, a word that we use with so many things, isn't it? Like. Oh my god. Isn't it like? Isn't it like? It's almost a little, it's like a cutesy word, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't it's work. Like a cute accent, it's like a little accent, a little cute accent. Yeah, I don't know. Cute what little, it yeah, it almost means like. Yeah, not scary. That's such a cute little. Because little things are usually not scary. Yeah. Apart from the Australian spiders. Uh. And also, like with those words like, I say it so much. I don't know how much I say it on the vlog, like. but when I watched my story back the other day, I did like a chatting story. You did like a chatting story? Did I just say that? Yeah, you did. I did like a chatting story, like. Um, and I had the captions on and I was reading it back and it was literally every other sentence, uh, like word. I was like, yeah, so like, and then like, what it was like is, it was like, I said like, that's, that's another one, isn't oh, it? It's using the word literally. I do that a when lot. When it doesn't, because I'm assuming literally every other word wasn't actually. And I literally use literally, literally in every oh, sentence. Because I love the word literally. I love the word literally. It's your nap time. No, Goodbye. 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 Can we do your party trick? No, I want to know where the pens are. In the drawer. Which drawer? We've got lots of drawers the top in life. Right. I think. Ready? Go. <laughs> you can't make it noise, cheeky. Go. Go on with your wet sleeve. <laughs> she doesn't even care about the wet sleeves. So yeah, we're having a day of like organisation. We've still got, oh my gosh, we've still got all the decorations up from the party, which I want to take down um, just because like the stickers that I stuck, the, let me just show you, the stickers that I stuck, uh, these on with the like little glue dot things, they're all kind of falling down now, like random pictures keep falling down. Um, so I'm going to take all them down before they kind of all half fall down. Um, yes, as you can see, they're slipping down the wall. That's Amber and her friend in the ball pit. That's so cute. And then also, I'm going to leave all the cards up. So we've got all the little cards dotted around the house. And then we've got her balloon set up, which the lady is coming uh, to take this down later on, like this evening. Hello! James's brother bought us this giraffe, which is absolutely epic. And yeah, this is going to be gone later on, which I'm actually so sad about because it makes me so happy. And the little balloons, the little flower balloons and some cards there as well. So decks are going to be down by the end of the day. Um, and we're just kind of like organising, tidying and having one of those days today. I keep like walking from room to room and I do actually love, like every time I peer in here and it's got the dining table, I do actually love it. It's just a vibe. With like a little bunch of flowers, the light in the background, the window, like look, looking out into the garden. I do love it. We'll see. I'm enjoying the setup for now anyway. That's it. Just toddles about all day. It's like she's mowing the lawn. I can just see her shuffling towards me with her book. Are we going to read? Yeah. Are we going to read that book? Even though Mummy's trying to do some editing on her laptop. Yeah. Come on then. This is your favourite one still. I'm pretty sure we read this in the last vlog. 
Yes, come on then. So I'm just in the gym. I am going to do a quick spin session on the Peloton, um, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm feeling a bit sleepy today. Just feeling a bit bleh. We spent the last Amber's had an absolute mammoth um, lunchtime nap, and so Karis and I had some lunch and kind of spent the last hour and a bit just doing work on our laptop. Hopefully it'll wake me back up and give me some energy to kind of power through the last few hours of today. I'm literally going to do 20 minutes. I only ever do 20 minutes on a spin bike any longer, like, and it just kills me. I find that the kind of, the classes, like, a, a kind of, you know, you do a 20 minute class and it's hard for 20 minutes. You do a 30 minute class and it's hard for 30 minutes. Like, there's no let up. You basically in the 30 minute class do a 20 minute class and then just do another 10 minutes. That kind of doesn't make sense, but you expect a 30 minute class, well I did anyway, to kind of be easier because of the fact it was longer, so any moment in time was easier. Definitely wasn't, it was way too hard for me. Not a big fan, so 20 minutes, on, off, back in the house, hopefully, hopefully Amber would have woken from her nap in um, 20 minutes because I think we're going to go out and do a couple of bits of balls. I actually think we're going to go out and take Amber, uh, take Amber, well yeah. Mila and Amber on a second walk out and about because her walk this morning was a bit quick. So I got a little bit into my spin session and then Amber woke up and Karis brought her down and um, she just, honestly we positioned the gym in the worst place possible because Amber literally <laughs> sat slash stood at this windowsill like this. waving at me when I was on the spin bike. We were like, hello daddy! Well, yes, you weren't even here to be fair, you were on the no, other side of the room, we started, she made her way over. Yeah, I showed her, I was like, where's daddy? Oh, let's go and play. We went down there to play, she literally was like, scoot back, daddy! Scoot yeah. back, daddy! And then I just felt really bad because yeah. I was on the spin bike and she just didn't understand. I was waving back, kind of ferociously, and she was like, <laughs> she was like, come on dad, come play with me. So I just felt terrible, so I, I got off the spin bike, obviously, because I was loving the spin bike so much anyway. <laughs> um, so I got off and I came in and played with her. And we just did a bit of lunch, didn't we? Well, very late lunch, because you had a absolutely massive nap. She did, she's teething quite badly today. So she's sucking on her frozen teether, which is great, she loves yes. it. Oh, I'm just wrapping some presents for some of our friends' babies that are having birthdays. Hello, what are you up to there? You're sticking a picture to the window, are you? Yeah? Are you having fun? Wow! That's amazing! Um, I thought I would show you some of the presents because I love them and honestly I feel like they're such cute present ideas. Um, we got them from, we were just in town yesterday. Come here then, you can help me. Go on. Oh, Daddy's got you. I got you. <laughs> yes, we were in Jojo Mama Bebe and, oh yes, there, there, there it is, uh, yesterday and we picked them all up and I feel like they're such like nice like little present gift ideas, so I thought I would chat through because before I had a baby, a baby, <laughs> I say it like that, a baby, um, I would have not had a clue what to get. And to be honest, I still don't know. Like, I feel like it's kind of a guessing game when you get a baby a present. You're like, are you going to like it or are you going to hate it? Um, and you can kind of never tell because at the end of the day, they just love playing with wooden spoons and spatulas, so you'd never know. But I thought it would be nice for anyone that needs baby present ideas. So this, I saw on TikTok, I don't know if it was from act like this actual brand, but um, these kind of fruit things which are split with Velcro in the middle. So then you use this little knife that they give you, like a kid's play knife, and you kind of practice cutting the fruit, like how they're already cut. You would like put the like blunt knife through the middle and it helps children to learn like cutting fruit. So I love that idea. Anything stacking, I've got two stackers here for different babies. Uh, but yeah, I just, I think stackers are really nice because they're really small. Amber, if, if Amber's any baby to go off, then she absolutely loves stacking. And I think it's a very common thing because they seem to be everywhere. And then books are another really good present. I loved this one. I feel like I had this one when I was a child um, because it brings back a lot of memories looking at the cover and looking at the inside of it. And then these, which are great. You guys may remember the Christmas version of this that we had, which plays songs. Um, and these are just different versions of them. Click. You click and then you click it again and it stops. It does have an on and off button, which is also really good in the back. I don't know why I'm doing like a full blown book tour here, but yeah. So yeah, love these. And I'm gonna have a little present wrapping session now, which I just love wrapping presents. Got my wrapping paper over there. I just, I find it so calming. <laughs> Amber 
is having some breakfast with James in there. Um, we had a bit of a rough night last night. We probably one of the roughest nights we've ever had since have a number yeah she is teething as you guys know and um she was just up all night basically really unhappy didn't want to feed at all didn't want to feed off me didn't want to feed off the bottle um literally just seemed to do loads of pain we gave her pain relief we did everything we could um but she just wanted to be downstairs uh with us on the sofa so me and james just took it in turns um james did like the first stint and i did the second stint through to like four five whenever she eventually went down for a little bit and now it's morning again um, and me and her are off to soft play with my mum friends so she can hear me so she's getting upset but she's like mom look at me eating while i'm teething so yeah, me and Amber are off to soft play this morning with her friends, so that shall hopefully cheer her up. And me and James are going to drink a thousand coffees and try and get through the day without feeling like too much of a zombie. <laughs> We had an amazing time, didn't we, babes? Hello, people! <laughs> You're exhausted, honestly. Even after a sleepless night last night, she had so much fun. I'd never been there to that one before. I'd been to a different one. And it was a sensory amazingness. They had like a baby section. There were so many babies. <sighs> We're going over for a nap now, babes. Yeah, and it was lush. I honestly had so much fun. Um, I met my mum friend and then two of my mum friends and then she brought a couple of her mum friends so there was loads of us and I met some really lovely people as well who watch us on the vlog. Ams, did you meet some friends? Did you? <laughs> yeah, we met some really lovely people so it was lush. Anyway, I'm gonna get this fussy baby <laughs> back for a nap. So Karis has been home from her little um a little escape with Amber to it the was baby play. Do you enjoy? Totes amaze. Yeah, Amber's been napping for a little while and we think actually she's just in the process she is. of waking up. Um, I'm going to shoot off. I've been chilling this morning to us, I haven't done very much at all. Um, <laughs> I did actually go to try to get my hair cut, but um, the barber that I usually go to was closed. Um, he's changed his opening hours. Um, no, so I didn't get that done, unfortunately. Couldn't get the trim um, done. I know, and when you know you know yeah. the barber you want to go to, I struggle then to change. Like, I know what I'm getting. Get excited. You know what I want. It's, it's just yeah. all easy, it's all good, you know? Um, but yes, I am now going to take the dogs in a bit. It's actually just stopped ra raining. It's been absolutely chucking it down all day. It's been a horrible day. So I'm going to shoot off and take the dogs. We have Bailey, um, Karis' parents' dog, because both of her parents are working all day today. So we are having her for the day. And yeah, and then I think I'm going to try and get a gym session in. Try and do a bit You've of a... Good lately. Thank you. Yeah. Try and do a bit of a push day. You're a good little fitness guy. Oh. So we are very excited that this part of the video is actually sponsored by Hugh. Hugh. There we go. Hugh. Get the branding in nice and clear there. <laughs> um, for branding. those of you who don't know, this is a Hugh kind of ready to drink. Um, it's, it's called a complete meal, 100% nutritionally complete. Um, and it's kind of like a drink that contains 400 calories, but then also contains, I think this is what I like most about it, 26 essentials, vitamins, and minerals. Mm. It's vegan, so it is plant-based, 20 grams of protein. It's a really cool concept. Like, we actually came across Huel quite a while ago when we yes, were at uni. I was gonna get onto that. I know, I know, but I just feel like... <laughs> I always remember, do you remember, we used to share my Huel t-shirt. Yeah. 
So he all started off with, I, I think he did anyway, did with like only kind of powdery, um, powdered drinks that you make yourself at home. And they I still do not. those. They still do those. And I ordered some to try and I really liked it. Yeah. And I got a heel t-shirt that we yeah. used to share. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah. yeah, so it's like very, obviously, as you guys know, we have like been like on different levels of our fitness journey throughout the last few years, I'd say. And when we were at uni, to wake. we were very, very fitnessy. And so we were like trying all the products on the yeah. market and stuff. And we, we did know Huel yeah. back then and we tried it and we used it and we like really enjoyed it. And so when they contacted us, we were like, Huel! I know, that's amazing. And so kind of, I use, I've used it kind of on and off yeah. um, for, while since and mm. I absolutely love kind of the ready to make drinks they came they come in loads of uh, really nice flavors my favorite is chocolate it tastes absolutely it amazing. does it tastes very and I also quite like the um, iced coffee caramel that's a really good taste yeah you had that well. yesterday that was I good. haven't tried all of the ones available but just kind of knowing what I like they're, they're definitely gonna be they're definitely are too but they have yeah. like berry and banana and like loads of cool things and so they're not like meal replacements no. they're not diet and shakes that's definitely not what we use them for and we would never recommend no, replacing one of your three meals a day no. with any kind of shake no. um, he will include it you can it's use it in, a, in like I'm sure, um, yeah, a various way ways, and so you've got to use it to suit your lifestyle. Like back in uni, I was very much like bulking fitness, and I loved like James, I guess, is doing now, having it as like an extra meal, a snack, all that kind of stuff. Because yeah. when you are consuming a lot of calories, when you're like fitnessy or whatever you're doing, sometimes it actually gets really boring consuming them all as yeah. food. So I think it was a really, I loved using it back then for that. And if you are interested, you get a free t-shirt on your first order. Mm -hmm. And if you um, click through our personal link, in the description, then it will take you to the website. Thank you to you for sponsoring. Thank you to you guys yeah. for being there for us and Working with for listening to us ramble. <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh, seeing as the baby's not waking up just yet, um, I'm going to make myself a cuppa. Would you like a cup of tea, darling, dearest? Cup of tea, darling. Yeah. Thank you. Would you guys like a cup of tea? Um, Although I didn't and tea and you. Yeah, I think I did tea and you side by side. Definitely. Chocolate and a bit of tea. Oh, Love it. Mix them together. Oh, oh too far, babes. <laughs> I wanted to talk because I was yesterday. I posted a TikTok which was all about kind of like, kind of. It had lots of different vibes, but it was basically how I'd been feeling as oh, as Amber turned one about like my body and how it's changed before having Amber, during having Amber, pregnancy, after having Amber and how much body changes are linked. Anyway, anyway, I'll go on to just like that. Anyway, it reminded me then to, I wanted to do like a little Cara self-love chat. Um, when we were talking about the Huel bit and we were talking about fitness and stuff, I, it reminded me, oh yeah, I was meant to talk about that. So a nice little lead on here to a Cara self-love chat, if you want to stick around for my self-love ramble. So yeah, it was basically along the lines of, oh, I haven't changed in there, one second. I'll be back, just filling the cups of tea up, my hot water taps in full swing. It's so loud, but so quick. Okay. Yes, so it was basically talking about how I was proud of my body and all the changes that it had made from being pregnant. I think pregnancy, birth and everything gave me a whole new like, wow, the human body is amazing. And I wish I'd had that before pregnancy and birth because I have obviously had a journey of weight gain since before I even got pregnant the majority of my weight gain happened and I wish I'd had that mindset you know the whole time but self-love is very much an ongoing journey and different things in life including birth and um, pregnancy for me have been things that you know bump it up that bit more and you just get to each year I feel in a better place with my body and my love and appreciation towards my body and what the TikTok was basically all about was looking back on the year so I'm looking I, you know I looked back on this last year of having Amber and what I saw and what I think about is the most amazing memories with our baby girl and I think as humans we are so quick to remember years in like our clothing sizes or like oh back then last year I was a size 12 I was a size 8 or you know oh that year that was when I was like looked really good that was when I was at my smallest the doorbell is it's a package probably we are so quick to define our memories our moments our years by how we looked yeah we're so so quick to brand all those all the things that happen in our life with how we look and yet there is so like the key in my opinion and in my experience to living and and 
and living a life that you look back on and that you're proud of is, is defining all those memories, all those years and all those moments by what they are and not what we wore and not, sorry, not what, what size we wore and not um, how, how big or small or how much weight we'd gained or lost or like, let's just remove those parts. Like 2018 was not about what size you were. It was about what you got up to that year. It doesn't even have, have to have been a good year or a bad year or whatever, but it doesn't have to be about what size you were. You're not gonna look back when you are old and gray. You are not gonna look back on your life and want to be able to label years to what size you were. Like, nobody actually cares what size you were and, or what size you are now. Like, it sounds harsh, but the nitty gritty is like, nobody actually cares. Like, you think, sorry, I say like so much and I'm noticing that a lot now. You think that people are out there in the world judging you, even family, even friends, you can become so absorbed in how you look that you feel people are constantly thinking about it. Even when people make comments, even when people act and show that they do care even if you get horrible you know people commenting on how you look it's a split second in their life you your body is not actually the main priority that is on their mind nobody actually cares what size you are it's just kind of like society and lots of things can make you feel like it is the most important thing that happened to you or it is the most important thing about your year this year and last year and every year you'll think it every year you will be having a different body and every year we can so easily be not happy with that body i think um I, I did a different tiktok which was on a similar sort of thing but it was about when i post my wedding pictures i get a lot of people that say you know do you look sad and do sorry do you feel sad when you look back on your wedding photos and you see yourself in a smaller body and um i don't i definitely still have days on my self-love journey where i struggle but overall I do not and there is such a simple reason for that and answer for that and it's so so powerful and it's the fact that you probably can relate to this a lot of you if you look back and think about every year that you have probably had varying body shapes I bet you were not 100% happy in any of those years even when I was at my smallest I had toned stomach flat as a pancake I didn't think that. I wasn't there going, yeah, flat as a pancake. Like, it was just never enough. It was never enough. And we we were, like, me and James have followed quite a similar pattern. We were both so absorbed in, you know, fitness and body and everything like that. We didn't step back and think, oh, wow, like, you know, look what... No, it was just never enough. We wanted more. We wanted to be skinnier. We wanted to be losing more weight. We wanted to be more bulky. We want what we don't have. We just always do as humans. I feel like it's such a, such a common thing. And so just by knowing that, I feel like it's so powerful to actually allow you to step back and be like, no, actually I'm done, I'm bored. Like that is just boring. I'm actually bored <laughs> of living like that every year, just being like, this isn't the body I want. This isn't the body, <sighs> I'm bored. I want to look, <laughs> I just want to live. I don't want to live for a body shape. I just want to live. And I've been able to do that recently by when I am getting, you know, a bit caught up or a bit, and um, you know, it happens. We're on a journey here. We're not all just reaching a point and then never looking back. You will have days I do all the time where I struggle with body image. I remind myself, don't, you don't want to go back to that place. It's boring. It's not a way to live, to just live for a body shape that you're never going to be happy with because really, Society absorbs you so much in all these things on social media, magazines, everything. We're never happy. We're never ever happy with the bodies that we have. I'm so sorry. Doorbell's phone call. so. You were so lovely. <laughs> that's lovely. You were doing so well. Anyway, it's always good to bring my rants to an ending point. But yeah, I guess I basically went off on a couple of different tangents there, but. I just always want to be that reminder because I'm on that journey myself. We want to live for the years of memories and moments and experiences. They don't always have to be the best years of our life. They just have to be lived for something other than our body because we are so much more than our bodies. You are so interesting with all the things about you that aren't your body. And I want us to remember that every year. 
I'm sorry for the interruptions. I'm just sat in another room. I'm done. You brought, me, you brought me to a close. Thank you for your apology. <laughs> wasn't needed. Um, yeah. Our, our lawnmower so. has been fixed. That was what the point Oh, was. fantastic. Yeah. Had the lawnmower to be fixed. Very important. And I mow the lawnmower. The weather isn't shocking. That's exciting. It is exciting. I do love a lawnmower when you lawnmower up. <laughs> it makes a big difference to my happiness. See, this is what I'm on about, living for memories, moments. The lawnmower has got fixed. Who cares what size I'm wearing? The lawnmower has been fixed. Yeah, so anyway, just wanted to be your reminder of that today. Love you all. Hope you're doing well. And I do think the baby will wake soon. So <laughs> I'm going to drink my cup of tea and I'm going to have a fun-filled afternoon. Hello. Welcome back from your nap. The longest nap in... That's it. Push it through. Um... Whoa! Amber had... Oh, good girl, push it through. Push. Oh! Paris, let her push it through. I know. Fun. I'm such a sucker for... <laughs> I know, she just... Yay! Um, she had so many, like, presents from people for her birthday that there were so many on her actual birthday that we never actually got around to giving her the ones that we'd bought for yeah, her so like them off at the birthday party. yeah we gave them to her the next day on her actual birthday yeah we never gave her ours i know because i was just going to be too many so i thought I'm, I'm staggering them now so i'm doing like a present a day yeah which one are you going to put in we figured it out yay you're a good girl. Hello, Pila. Yes, you're a good girl too. Good girl, Amber. Ooh, this is so good, Ams. And we have the treasure basket, which I'm also really excited for. And we've got a couple of other little bits, but I, like I said, I'm staggering them. Today we've got treasure basket, which we might do later. We're having Yay! fun with this for now. Well done. Me again. Go on, put one in. She gets so kind of intrigued when she gets a new toy, I like figuring out how to use it. Oh, good girl yes hello you yes hello you um and then the other thing that i'm really excited to get for guys is i don't want her to see it look at the mini elmo i'm so excited i feel like she's gonna take it everywhere with her <laughs> oh my gosh we haven't had proper elmo back down in ages I don't know, proper elmo's hiding oh, in the did you just see adam ah. Ah. hello elmo <laughs> Are you singing the theme tune? It's Elmo's Wonderful World. Amber is mentioned on her sandwiches. Hello, you. Um, I just remembered that our friend got us this Amber's plate and Amber's spoon. What does this one say? Oh, yeah, just Amber. How nice is that? You want more? Good girl. And I just remembered. Sorry, I put it down for you. Um, that I'm gonna like start giving her, we used to, but then she started going through a phase of literally throwing everything off the plate just as she had one thing left and would eat that. But yeah, I'm gonna fill this up. Oh, it looks so cute. And it's got like a suction pad as well. Yo. And then it gives her the freedom to kind of choose what she wants to eat. Oh, I could just watch her eat all day. Is that nice? On the floor. Amelia's just patiently assessing the food dropping situation. So while Amber's munching on Asani's, I thought I would just show you the update on what's happening. So. Next week, <laughs> Missy Moo, I can see you. <laughs> yeah, honestly, guys, anytime I start vlogging lately, she's just straight, like, mm, does a little low line hum in the background. Mm. Show me on the vlog, please. Paint samples. I'm not going to talk too much because I can ramble, but this is the color that we're going for. This is how it looks on the paneling. The guys came today that are painting the whole hall. We're having the whole hallway stairs and up there, baby gates and paneling up the stairs and everything done. They said that they were gonna prime it all in white. So I've painted a true brilliant white here on the wall and here, oh, here. So I can test this sample now. Cause as you can see, even those two there look a bit different. So I can test this on the true brilliant white and that should be the exact color that it's gonna turn out like. So yeah, I've been, paint sampling again today, but hopefully we'll get it right. Hello, my low-lying hummer. Hello, cheeky girl. <laughs> I 
I'm back! Yes, your plate didn't last long, did it? But it's cute though. Yes, I know. Did we say uh, that we were looking after Bailey today? This is my parents' dog, Bailey. We sometimes look after her when they're called into work, um, like both of them at the same time. So yeah, we got Bailey here today. Who's watching Amber as well? They're all watching you eat, aren't they? Yes. Oh, Amber. <laughs> Amber's brought Ada. I should say Elmo. I just caught on. Yeah, I should say Elmo though, because that's his name, isn't it? Elmo. Paint colours. So I've just painted over the white, which dried. <laughs> yes. Can we eat you? I know. Thank you. Oh, you're passing me. Elmo, thank you so much. So yes, this is how it's turned out. We're loving it. I'm gonna trust that that's how the colour is gonna turn out. I'm gonna hope it does. We've done all the prep we can. We've done all the samples we can. We can only hope it's gonna work. Woo! And that's happening next week. So excited. Do you want some milk? Are you signing milk? Oh, cool. Excited about the signs. Oh yes, guys. So thank you for all your lovely comments about signing and everything like that. It was really, really interesting and it, there was just so many great points. But yeah, from the signs, the, 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 from the research that I did afterwards, there's like, well, from, yeah, because I was talking about ASL, BSL. So there's American Sign Language, British Sign Language, and then there's something called Makaton, I think that's how you say it, which is, I wasn't 100% sure on what it was, but um, it's, it's used a lot of the time with babies and they use it a lot of the time in nurseries. And the more sign that I've taught her, can you do that one? Can you do more? That's milk. That's milk. Do you That's more? milk. Would you like some milk? More? More. We've what? seen her do more. Exactly. You That's more just love. confusing. You want more attention from mum and dad. Daddy will get you some milk. Daddy will get you some yeah. milk. Yeah. So the more sign that she does is actually Makaton. Whereas I think going forward, I'm gonna uh, sign with BSL because I think that'll be more widely useful on a whole i don't know though let me know your thoughts what you think um but yeah from talking to some of my mum friends milk's on the way yeah, yeah, from talking i was just looking at the leftover baby cake, cake. the leftover cake i was like oh, that looks good <laughs> from um yeah talking oh, to my there you go daddy's got milk some of my mum friends at um the soft play today they were saying probably bsl's best and um when my uh, one of my friends, uh, her child who's two, went to like speech therapy. They did BSL there, so she was saying that it could be helpful to do that. So I think going forward we will do BSL. But yeah, her more sign is already Makaton, so the more sign that she does is that one, which... She does! She does. Yeah, she gets like, sometimes she does it and that's what she wants and then sometimes she does it and then she pushes it away so she's still obviously in the learning process. So we could change it, but I feel like we'll just stick with it because she does it so much and I've done it so much, so that's more. But then in BSL, more is actually like that. Um, so they're quite similar. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, <laughs> they're quite similar, they use your hands. But I think uh, the thank you which we've been doing and milk's actually different as well, but that's fine. So Makaton is that. Yeah. I think milk's that. Which is a little... Yeah. You don't really want your baby doing that to you. No. Breastfeed. Yeah, exactly. Breastfeed. Felt weird for breastfeeding, doing the milk like that. So that was fine. And then going forward, obviously, we're just doing drink um, as it is. So yeah, I'll keep chatting you through the... Because I was really kind of happy with how many like comments and like interaction there was about the signing. So yeah, I thought it was really lovely information from all of you guys so thank you so much for that and i'll keep you updated on the signing journey i'll keep you updated on more you don't? <gasps> i'm loving it hello are you What's in there there's a ghost oh there's a ghost yeah. there she is hello, hello. one sock off one sock off the sign of a baby Ooh. Beep -boo. i don't know how you might oh that's how you pull the fairy lights oh. girl. Baby girl. Baby girl, that's one thing we don't touch in this house and it's the fairy lights. Oh, beep -boo. Hello, beep -boo. So, guys, it is... Let me let me have a coochie with yo. Oh. Let me have a coochie with yo. Gosh, I'm having a picture of <laughs> We're all just chilling in here. As it's you can see, I've been... It's such a Friday. <laughs> it's such a Friday, isn't it? I it's such a Friday. Such a Friday. <laughs> We've got oh, the, the giraffe. We've set the giraffe to the naughty corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> Giraffe, you've been very naughty. You just need one of those cone hats to put on it. Face now. the wall. One of those cone hats that says something, you know, horrible on it. Why? Because that's what they used to do in like really, really? times. They used to put like a hat on and have to stand in a corner. No. A hat? So, yeah, like one of those. Oh, that's hats, horrible. Isn't it? Gosh. But, um, say dragons, they talk about really? Them. Yeah, I know so, that they. Could be wrong. You could be making that up, but that Maybe also I could. Could be a Pete's Dragon or something. Oh. <laughs> James used to love Pete's Dragon. I don't even know what Pete's Dragon is, but I hear about this all the time. Oh. What? The Pete's Dragon used to be my favourite video. <laughs> I know. Oh, is it a video? A VCR, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. I don't even know what they're called because they're so old now. The chunky rectangular video. I used to have my big, you know, boxy black TV. Yeah. With its, you know, VCR player built in. Yeah, I know, I remember Brilliant. those. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. You'll never know food. the joys. Don't hit yourself in the head. <laughs> okay, so I feel like we haven't actually said what's going on. So it's now actually. <laughs> Wait for it, guys. We're just vlogging. It's, it's not that exciting. exciting. It's not that exciting. Um, it's now a couple. I will open this, let the light in. It's now a couple of days later. <clears throat> I've just been editing the vlog, as you can see in the background. Um, and I'll come through this kitchen with you and we'll do some food. Um, and basically what happened was we talked way too much. So we have a vlog that's this vlog. Um, and it was continued on to a couple of days. And anyway, it ended up being like, not even joking, like an hour and 40 minutes. It's just, just mm. so we've cut it down. So I'm now jumping from the future to here to say my slippers to say goodbye. <laughs> So we needed to add an outro so to this long, bit. Cast, like, we need to get a bit of an outro going so that we can end that video nicely. Yeah. I don't like it. them in half. If you ever see an end screen, guys, just know I haven't done it lightly, you know? I always it's love to do like an outro where we actually speak because that's, I don't know, I just feel like I want to round it off and like say bye and say see you next time and stuff. But sometimes... Da, do you sing in? Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. She does a little repeat of us. <laughs> no, da, 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 da. Good girl! Oh, it breaks. It actually melts her fat does. And she. It just. It makes me think that's going to be like her singing voice. Like, da, da, da. Oh, it's heartbreaking. And she just keeps going. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> we're watching Modern Family. Oh my gosh, we're like the biggest Modern Family fans in the world, potentially. We watch? have watched the whole series about five times. Um, what am I saying, guys? I always like to do an outro. Occasionally, I like prioritise getting the video up over an outro. So there is sometimes an end screen. Um, I think there was an end screen on Amber's birthday, which was the last video. So it just didn't happen lightly, okay? I wanted to jump on and say goodbye, but I didn't have time with the upload and then the YouTube upload and everything. And I sometimes prioritize getting the videos up. Anyway, don't even think anyone cares about that. But yeah, so this is the outro for this video. And then we're going to have another video, which is the other half of this video, which is just another now we're ramble. Have an intro for. I know you're going to see the same this in the intro. That's just so exciting. So exciting! I'm excited. Hi. Are you excited? Hello, more. Well done, Debbie. Debbie's giving you some more now. Mila, you look absolutely yeah. static. She wants her lunch as well. Aww. We're all wanting food. I don't know what to do for Amber. I'm just a bit lost. I know, we're in a mess. We can't do sandwiches again. We all just eat sandwiches all the time together now because she's at an age where she loves munching on sandwiches. And me and James are like, sandwich lovers so we all just munch on sandwiches and i'm like we probably should do something else other than sandwiches for her although she does love them i'll stop rambling otherwise this video is going to end up being <laughs> you all this video is going to end up being an hour and 40 minutes yeah this is the video that we talked about huel in wasn't it i showed like i didn't show huel on my story the other day but i had huel in the background of one of my stories and people were messaging me like oh, i love huel i drink huel and i was like oh that's nice so anyway that's nice that's nice that's nice isn't it thank you for that stroke yeah, goody goody. Well, hit her. Maka paka. Maka paka. Digga digga. She's looking at the, pa the garden. Very exciting. Garden transformation, guys. I'll give you a sneak peek coming up in the next video. So exciting. Okay, I'm officially going. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Coming soon. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye, guys. Oh, say bye bye. Bye bye.
Oh no, it's confusing. Give me a kill! Bye bye! Oh, <laughs> <laughs>